filming with my first ever ring light right now. I'm really trying not to go blind because this thing is so bright, but the quality is like so much better, I can already tell. So if you guys wanna see what I use for my filming, like camera, tripod, lighting, etc., I have it all linked down below because I get asked about that a lot. But today's video, I realized that the mass majority of my subscribers are just here for my crazy story times and crazy out there videos like that. They don't really care much about me or what's going on in my life. Not saying this applies to all of you guys, but I'm just saying like, I realize that there's a small majority of you guys who like really will probably watch this video or like have any sort of interest, but that's okay because I'm kind of making this video for myself or I guess to get maybe like the few of you who notice this at all, an explanation. So, um, I really did eight videos a couple days ago. They weren't live on my channel yet. They were on private, which you can do until you're ready to like publish your video where everyone can see it live, you know? And I had like four story times, a couple rants, some other videos, and I just deleted them all. And I kind of want to explain why I want to explain again. I've talked about this in so many videos, but why I started YouTube and then what's just been going on lately that's honestly been making me really depressed and it's over with now because I've like made so many changes and stuff and like fixed what the problem was which I didn't understand at first I was just feeling really upset and I didn't know why and it was like in relation to YouTube and for those of you guys who think that's like super dramatic or extreme YouTube is a huge part of my life it's like my job it's my hobby it is my creative outlet it's just what I do it's what I watch it's everything I told you guys in my apartment tour I don't even have a TV because what's the point I only watch YouTube you know so anyways, I started YouTube because I wanted to document my life. I really never expected to gain subscribers. Like the amount of subscribers I have right now is just completely substantial to me. Like that's insane. I think that's like a ton. I know it's like, that's nothing compared to like Jenna Marbles or like anyone like that. Like I'm, I'm nobody, but still the fact that 55,000 people would watch me at all, or like at least be subscribed to get notifications for my videos. It's like crazy to me. But I did make my channel to document my life. I also wanted to help people if anyone ever stumbled across my videos and could relate to me and kind of learn from my experiences. But I never made this channel to like, I never made this channel with intentions of getting famous, making money, this and that. And I understand how that can happen by default when you are growing your audience, etc. But going along with that, once I started doing YouTube for a while, I was noticing a lot of things that other YouTubers do, which I thought that maybe I had to. Not like I was trying to be someone I'm not, but this is just an example, and I'm not hating on anyone who does this at all. Like, literally, it just wasn't for me type of thing. So, as most of you know, I am a sophomore in college, so I'm a full-time student, and then I have other obligations and priorities and things going on in my life, just as all human beings do. So, filming, editing, uploading, all that stuff, I tend to get a little bit carried away with it in the sense that I will not sleep at night, I will skip class, whatever, because I put YouTube first in front of like everything. And I was doing that a lot last semester. So going into the school year after summer where I was uploading like every single day, sometimes multiple times a day, just a lot. Because again, it's not about like the views for me. It's about I just like to put out content. So I told myself, you know what, Allie, you need to chill, you need to find a balance, you know, find your zen. You should do an uploading schedule. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this, so I guess that's why I kind of thought, oh, this must be what like I should be doing. You know what I mean? It seems to work for other people. And I decided on uploading twice a week, which was Monday and Friday. And that would kind of keep me out of balance. But here's the thing, and I totally get why it may work for other people, but it didn't for me. It was honestly making me, like, depressed. I was, like, unhappy, and I couldn't figure out why. And I'll, like, explain further. So because of that, because I was so used to filming all the time, and then I had this uploading schedule where I could only upload, like, twice, I just felt so limited. And it also stressed me out in ways that I felt like it just shouldn't because this is supposed to be fun for me, and it is. But the uploading schedule was making me feel like, I can't post more than twice a week, which I still did a lot of the time. But then when I would do that, I would be like, oh no, what if I don't have videos for next week? It just kind of made my channel feel like a job more so than a hobby, which I started off doing this as a hobby, my creative outlet, you know what I'm saying? And also 
uploading twice a week, I felt a lot of pressure like on myself, no one else was pressuring me, to put out crazy story times for both videos every week. So Monday, Friday, crazy story times, like all these videos. And it's like, sometimes I just like to sit down and make chill videos where I talk to you guys, where I rant, doing occasional vlogs. And I know that nobody watches vlogs, but I like to look back on my channel and see what was going on that day, see myself hanging out with my friends. It's kind of like my Instagram feed. I don't know if anybody else is like this on social media. I just like to look back on my Instagram and like remember things like, oh, that was such a fun day. So that's what my YouTube channel is like for me. And I also like to upload a lot of different content. I wasn't as excited to film, edit, upload or anything, even go on YouTube because I can't explain, but it affected me like a lot. And it was taking me a little bit to realize that I didn't start out my channel doing it the way that I have been doing for the past month, which was uploading schedule and feeling forced to just like tell all the crazy stories, which I have plenty of them. Like I could do that, but it gets a little bit exhausting and I made this channel to document my life. So I want to be able to make videos like this and I don't want to, you know, uploading twice a week. I put on a chill video where I'm talking and you guys are like, boo, we want a story time. Like you wasted half of your weekly content on this. Okay. Am I going to for sure have time to film for Monday's video, Friday's video? So therefore I started filming in advance. I would have a bunch of videos stacked up in advance, but then I'm the type of person once I have something filmed, edited and ready to go, if I don't upload it like pretty quickly, like within that day or the next day or a couple days later, I'm going to start to hate it. I'm going to look at it and say, you know, I hate this thumbnail. I hate the way I told the story. The lighting sucks, which it kind of did. It was fun in Ohio, I felt like, but I had umbrella lights and the lighting was different. My apartment here is so dark because I can't sleep unless I have blackout curtains and I just have my tapestries and all the windows are covered. So the umbrella lighting didn't work as well here. That's why I got this ring light, which is like 10 times better. But I would just go back and look on them, the ones I hadn't published yet, and hate them. And I also felt stressed. I felt like I wasn't myself in my videos. And I don't know if that necessarily showed in my recent videos because if I felt like it showed, I would delete the video or I would refilm because I don't want that out there. I never want to have forced content. Even if the content is good, I don't want my personality or like the way I told it to be forced at all. Because if I'm not in a good mood, I don't want to fake it. Like I want to be able to sit here and share a video and talk about what's going on in my life. I guess like I am right now. And I just really miss doing that. And I had some of my early subscribers who have been there since like 10K, 5K, whatever. And I love all of you guys equally. Doesn't matter when you join the family. And if you guys are not subscribed, go do so to be a gator part of the Gator Squad, but a lot of you guys were saying, I missed when you did these life updates, I missed when you uploaded all the time, and I was like, I know, I'm sorry, because honestly, now that I've been doing YouTube for a while, it doesn't take me as long to film, edit, and upload, because I'm kind of like, I'm not a pro, but I just know how to do it now. I don't mess up and like accidentally delete the footage or you know, I know how to use iMovie and things like that, so it's not that hard for me, so I feel like I can manage uploading all the time like I used to and also not having an uploading schedule then if something's going on in my life and I really just like can't film for a week then nobody's going to hold me accountable for that no one's gonna say oh you didn't upload and it was Monday but then if there's a week where I'm just feeling super creative I have so many video ideas and there's just like a lot of free time for me to be doing this I could upload six seven eight nine ten times so I just like that type of freedom and I think that's why I'm so attracted to YouTube that's like a big part of it is because it is on my own time and yes I can film and then like wait to publish them in advance and all that stuff but I didn't like that I did not like that at all so those videos that I deleted I will be refilming like over a span of time I don't know I don't want to just like film the same videos I just filmed just because I had filmed them and deleted them, you know, I'll get them out out there eventually. Quality over quantity, but I like to put out a large quantity of videos. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of me and a lot of fresh, awesome content. If you guys ever have requests, leave them below because I do this channel not only for myself, but for you guys. And you never know if you're going to like a certain type of video until you try it. And then if you guys haven't noticed my new intro, outro banner, shout out to the people who helped me with that. I'm going to link their stuff below. They were such an amazing help in this process because I obviously had to change my old stuff because it said uploading every Monday and Friday on it. I almost said Wednesday. See, I like didn't even do the schedule long enough to like remember the days. You guys get to see the real me because honestly, I'm so happy right now that I like am making this video and explaining and just kind of getting off my chest. And it works for some people, but for me, guys, I just I just like to film too much. So 
Thank you guys for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. And please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it or if you could kind of like understand where I'm coming from with all this. And hopefully it just didn't sound like a bunch of noise. Follow my social media if you guys ever want to see what I'm up to outside of YouTube. I'm pretty active on like Twitter, Insta, Snapchat, etc. So yeah, follow me and we can like talk in the DMs and stuff. But I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.